Hey everybody. So today for this video, we'll be talking about credit card points, how to get them, how to save them, how to actually pass these on to a loved one. So uh, hopefully that you are actually sitting back, relaxing, having your wallet open, a drink of wine with me, because we have a lot to talk about as well as giving away some books tonight. So let's get to my intro and we are gonna be up in there. In a world where financial advice is as blurry as a wild night of cheap jello shots, clear your head and your monetary halitosis with the About That Wallet Show hosted by Anthony Weaver. Leave those jello shots for the amateurs and learn to indulge in the top shelf bottles, baby. Now, here's your host, Anthony Weaver. All right, all right, all right. So we're going to get up in here and let's go on and start rocking out because credit card points are something that we all need in our lifetime. And because they say credit is king, some believe that credit is not king, but eh, who are they to say what we do with our money? We get to do whatever we want. That's why credit is what it is. So the reason why I want to talk about credit points today is because there are so many ways to get it. So many ways to get it. The beautiful thing I love about credit card points is that I am able to actually, I haven't actually paid to travel in the past, I would say three years now. Um, and the beautiful thing about not being able to actually have to pay for travel is that um, I get to spend more money at the actual vacation. So when you go on vacation, you save up all your money. Like, I don't know, say if you go to Florida and you have a family of four and you want to make sure that you have all the money that's needed for them to go shopping. You yourself want to get something. The kids want to get something. Everybody's always hungry. But. That's after you get there. But what about before you get there? Now you start thinking about, all right, well, how am I going to get there? Do I want to fly with all these kids? Or do I want to drive the car to Florida? Or even if I want to take the train, you have your different options. But the beautiful thing about having all of this, these options, is that now you have credit card points to try to figure out how to get to that destination at the lowest cost possible. And that's why at this show only about that wallet is that I love finding ways to actually take that dollar a little further than when you actually earned it yourself, because you want to keep your money in your pocket as long as possible. Even though sometimes it keeps escaping and you'd be like, yo, where the heck my money went, but it's okay though. We're here. We're going to get this going. So now that you figured out what you want to go, you need to figure out how am I going to get there? Now you figured out how you're going to get there. Now how are you going to pay for it? Right. Now for me, when I go to travel or say if I'm planning a trip, say if I'm planning a trip to California, leaving the East Coast, go to California. Maybe I'll say Hollywood. Let's pick a spot in Hollywood. The first thing that I would do is actually figure out, okay, um, what hubs are over there? I live near a hub, uh, the Southwest hub. So it makes sense for me to go ahead on and get a Southwest credit card. Now, for you that are out there, if you know what your hubs are, it's very easy to figure it out. You just type in your, I guess, whatever airport that you're nearby, Go ahead on and look up what hubs that are there. Usually it might be Delta or American Ex I mean, um, I keep saying American Express. Could be Delta, American, Southwest. Um, and you just kind of go through the different airlines. Could even be Spirit. Who knows? I don't even know if Spirit has a hub. You guys let me know in the chat. But the cool thing about um knowing your hub is the most is actually a cheat code to figure out how to travel for free. 
now because I know that BWI is a hub for Southwest, I can use that to go down to Orlando, even though I said that. You know, I should do that. Change the destination. We're gonna go to we're gonna go to Orlando. Let's make it simple. Orlando, because I know it is a it's a hub as well for Southwest. And because it's a hub to hub, I know I can get direct flights. I don't have to worry about doing connected flights to get to where I want to be. Now, understanding that, I'll go ahead on and say, all right, well, now that I know what is that, it's a direct flight, I'll go ahead on and take a moment to go to um, southwest.com website, log into my account, and say, hey, I'm leaving from BWI all the way down to Orlando. I think it's a... I don't even know what Orlando's line is. But either way, going to Orlando's airport. Orlando airport. And the cool thing about, okay, is MCO. So going to Orlando airport, I'll know that my flight will possibly be $200 round trip. I have enough credit card points. I'll go ahead and take those credit card points and go down and pay just the taxes for that. Now, the beautiful thing about that is that I didn't have to pay anything but just taxes. Now, you wonder, well, how are you getting those points? Now, keep in mind, these points are something that are utilized across multiple credit cards and that you have to figure out exactly what credit card is going to give you the best bang for your buck based on your shopping habits, based on what you normally go to. How in the world... Do you spend your life? And that's the beautiful thing about credit cards. They actually can either enhance the way you spend your money and also can allot you some of the cool and exciting things. Now, what I want you to do is to first understand your your habits. Where are you currently shopping the most? Because, like, say if you go to groceries and you got a family of four, we're just going to say a family of four because it's comfortable. And your grocery bill is about two to three hundred dollars every time you go. You'll find a credit card that would actually give you three times those points for your credit card. So I'm going to go ahead on and share my screen because I want to make sure that you all can see how I actually do searches. Because when I'm on a hunt for another credit card, These are the things that I actually do. It actually helps me find all the cool stuff. Help me save a few dollars. So what I do is I just go to my friendly pal Google here. And I say, what credit cards uh, give me 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 travel points? I love travel. Uh, Travel points for shopping uh for grocery shopping i'm actually taking this a little slow because there's other youtube videos that would actually speed through it all and not really share with you on how they do it i want to share with you slowly how i do this because this i want to teach you this process i don't just want to hand wave it and everything like that because these are the things that i do Okay, I'll figure out, all right, let's see what we got here. We got, what's this, CNBC talking about the different credit cards out here. All right, so they got the American Express Blue Preferred. So if you like cash back, hey, this is a um, pretty reasonable card for your day-to-day shopping. And they talk about the balance transfer fees. There's no annual fee on the first one and $95 annual fee uh, the second year. These are important to understand on what credit card fees are before you get them. You need to learn. You need to read the rules before you play the game. Hey, Danielle, thank you for coming by. What up, what up, what up? Hopefully, y'all like my new background. I've been playing around with some background stuff. So it's entertaining. Um, So, you know, we got the blue cash uh, preferred, which is a good card if you like cashback. If you don't mind having an annual fee of $250, uh, the American Express Gold is one. Now, I'm going to give you guys a heads up. 
for those of you who are active military, you do not have to pay the annual fee. I repeat, if you are active military, you do not have to pay the annual fee for all American Express cards. That includes the Platinum card. And I'm so jealous for those of you who can get it because I can't. Now, one of my favorite cards is a Chase Sapphire Preferred. Actually, if you look in the show notes, I have a referral code there. Um, just for a welcome bonus, you get 60,000 points uh, just for spending $4,000 in three months. Now, on top of that, because you use my referral code, they give you an additional 10,000 points. I get, um, I think, it'll make maybe 5,000 points. But either way, it's a win-win when you use a referral code. So if you're looking for a credit card, talk to somebody who already has that credit card to send you a referral link so that you can go down and you get more points using a referral card, I mean referral links, than you do actually going out and apply for it on your own. So that's another cheat code that they really don't talk about much, but I think that everybody should start doing is start using, utilizing referral codes. Um, they have American Express, I mean um, Amazon. If you shop Amazon heavy, they have on here you can do, they give you a lot of uh, cash back for, um, what's the name of that store? Wegmans, I think, that they own. And I believe it's uh, 5% for that, um, just because you went to the grocery store, which is amazing, especially if you live near one. It's, no, it's a no-brainer to not get one. I mean, I, this website isn't that great. It should show you a little bit more about how to utilize the points. But anyway, now that you understand, like, so I'll do this. I'll do my research, figure out what car best suits my needs. Secondly, um, as you just heard me talk about, which is the referral codes. When you do the referral codes, they are very helpful for when you are um just trying to build up some points. Say if you want to do a big travel, you're trying to take your family and so forth. You just don't want to spend the money for every single ticket. Now, when I took my wife and I, we went to Orlando one year, um, I didn't pay anything for flight. And that was the first time she actually ever flown uh, without paying anything. So I was like, hey, do you want anything while we're on this plane? And she was like, no, no. I was like, we didn't pay for the tickets. And she was like, oh, well, then uh, I take those chips and we just start loading up. I was making my own mimosas on that plane. I was like living large because I didn't have to buy a plane ticket. So it allowed me to spend more money on the plane. And because I had the Southwest card using on the Southwest plane, they gave me more points back just because I was using it on their particular product. It's like, once you understand how this thing works, you constantly get in points. So um, now that you start learning the ways to accumulate the points and so forth, that you can actually start accumulating these points when you go to, um, say if you're having a hard time, you're trying to figure out how do I spend 4,000 points? There are actually websites that will allow you to pay your rent. So if you are a renter out there, talk to your landlord to see if they have a portal or website portal that can utilize the credit card. Utilize the credit card. Again, pay that bad boy off because you're going to pay them anyway. So why not reap the benefits of the points? And for me, I love having credit card points for travel. I'm not a cashback kind of guy. Um, that's one thing that I have to say is something that I don't know. And I'm not a, I don't see the, the value in the cash back because I could use it for investing and so forth, but I'd rather use it for the travel, like for experiences. I already have the cash, but now it's like, let me do something extra uh, with it. So give me, give me some perks. You know what I'm saying? And because I have so many different credit cards, I'm able to, take advantage and transfer the points from one card to the next. So with Chase, I think I could pull this up here. So the cool thing about Chase is that any of the credit cards that are out there and you have, once you sign into your Chase account, you can actually go to um, Chase and be like, hey, 
I want to transfer my points from uh, what's the name? I don't know. Say if you got the Marriott Bonvoy, Bonvoy Boundless credit card. And you're like, you know, what? I want to transfer some of these points to Southwest. And it was like, okay, you can just transfer your points with no, no issues. And that's the beauty of having this thing here. It's so, so cool and so exciting um, to actually start traveling with your points. So I just talked about a few ways on how to start gaining those points, a few ways of, uh, you know, talk about like the different credit cards that are out there. If you want the cash back or if you want the travel points, but also now I want to start talking about when it comes to um, transferring your points to another. So some of these points, I mean, some of these credit cards do allow you to have a, what do they call them things? An authorized user. The cool thing about the authorized user is that you can start having a kid on there, help them build their credit up. Each credit card company has their own limits when it comes to the, um, the age for your child to actually be an authorized user for the credit card. Um, in order to figure that out, is I have a chart on my Instagram feed somewhere. I don't have it right here, but there's a chart for authorized user age. Let me find that out right quick. Authorized user age. I want to find this because I want to make sure that you guys have it um, for everything. Okay, so this one is from Forbes.com. If you guys can see this, I'm going to try to blow this up here. So by bank, I'm going to just read this off for the people that are listening to audio. So we got American Express at 13 years old. Bank of America, there is no minimum age requirement. Barclays, um, which is 13 years old. You got Capital One, no minimum age. Chase, which is one of my favorite banks right there, uh, especially when it comes to credit cards. There's no minimum age. Citibank, no minimum age. Discover, you got to be 15. But Discover also had Discover It, so they do really good with the cash back side of the house. Um, we have U.S. Bank, which is about um, 16 years old. And you have Wells Fargo, which has uh, no minimum age requirements. Now, the cool thing about it is that, you know, having your child help them build their credit up, it's part of the understanding of the credit card breakdown and I'm going to just kind of share this here. Even though the show is about the credit card points, I just want to give you some more details so you understand the importance of having a um, having to understand what in the world are you getting into, especially if you never touched a credit card at all and you're just trying to get into this game. Um, so if you guys are in the comments, being in the audience, if you guys have any questions, by all means, please ask away. Um, I do not want to hold this up because I want to make sure that you have all the information that's necessary uh, to be successful and actually start utilizing credit card points because I use them all the time. Like when it comes to Christmas, best believe I was on Amazon.com using all my American Express points because American Express um, now shows your shows you your points and your point value on um on Amazon. And I thought that was actually pretty awesome because now instead of you utilizing your actual cash dollars, now you can actually start seeing how um, you can start seeing the, the value right there in front of you. So instead of you paying out of pocket for everything, you're good to go. Now, keep in mind, everything that I've been talking about up to this point is actually saying that your credit card score is pretty much in a very good standing, meaning it's over 740. I'm actually pulled up a chart just to kind of show you the difference here, uh, that your poor credit score is anywhere between 300 and 579. Fair is 580 to 669. Good is 670 to 739. Very good, what they say, very good, is 740 
to seven ninety nine. An exceptional is eight hundred to eight fifty. Now they used to show what the breakdown is because I want to make sure that you guys see that as well. Um, so one of the things that affects your credit score is obviously your payment history. Uh, you got your credit card usage. You have your length of the credit. Um, history and the types of credit. So in other words, if you have a mortgage, personal loan, car loan, credit cards or whatever, and also your most recent activity. Um, they do have the breakdown here, which is your payment history is 35%. The amounts owed is 30%. Um, length of credit history is 15%. Credit mix is 10%. New credit is 10%. I'm just run through these because these are things uh, you should know before you start dabbling into credit card points. I really wish they had the breakdown um, of the points. Let me pull up something right quick because I want to make sure you guys have this um, as a reference page um, or not really a reference page, but more so a reference audio. Because there was a breakdown. Where is it? To tell you how the um, the credit scores are and how they calculate it. Because 300, I know for sure, is just your base. That's the way how it works. And then it goes up from there. And I know some of you are like screaming at me like, I found it. I know what it is. Well, look, okay. I'm trying to find it myself because I know I have it screenshotted it with all my other memes that I take screenshots of. And those of you who are like me have well over um, 2000 memes on your phone. So just bear with me here because I should have been more prepared, but I didn't think I was going to go through the point system. And that's one of the things that's throwing me off right now. But however, the cool thing about credit, as I'm looking for all of this, is that it allows you to have the flexibility to do all the cool things that you want to do at a low cost. And if you ever notice, people always tell you that, you know, the clothes you buy is an asset. I mean, it's not an asset, it's a liability. The car you drive is a liability. The, your travel, because you want to go traveling, is a liability. These things don't have to be a liability. They could just be a part of your life. And that's a, that's what I'm here to do is try to make this thing part of your life. You know, we all live with credit. People leverage credit all the time. So why can't you? You know, we sit up here with these different ideas on how to make life work. But yet we always seem to look at other people and stop, instead of looking at ourselves to say, hey, I can do this too. And I cannot find this meme. Okay. I got way too many memes. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead on and just kind of say, forget it. I know. What the, credit card. This is, this is like really killing me right now. Like I really wish I'd know this. Credit. All right. Um, I don't know. Something about the weather this time around. It just feels weird. Um, you know, just how how life is is going. I'm not sure about you all, but this Wednesday of this week just feels like it's like, um, you know what? We're just going to have to make it work. And it seems like I've been rambling, but I don't want to waste your time. So um, what we can do, what we can do, since we've been talking about credit and I've been talking about points, and we talked about how to accumulate the points, how to transfer the points. I did not talk about the travel portals. Okay. So the cool thing about travel portals, if you guys are not familiar with them, 
each credit card has pretty much a travel portal. When you go to redeem your points, there's a portal for travel. Even um, some of your banks might have a travel portal. The cool thing about using the travel portal with the bank and the credit card that you have with them is that you have the ability to take advantage of the point transfer system. And I've used this multiple times, mostly because when I buy gift cards for the holidays or for somebody's birthday, I don't come out of pocket for them. I go to the travel portal or whatever portal that the bank has. I'm like, hmm, I think this person likes Amazon. Amazon points they're going to get. I didn't come out of pocket. It gets automatically mailed to them. It's a win-win for everybody. Nice little $25 gift card. I can do that as a giveaway, too, if you guys want to. What do you guys think? Amazon gift card would sound pretty cool to you. And for those of you who are listening or catching on this audio, you can always um, shoot me an email at anthony at about that wallet.com just to let me know what your thoughts are on getting uh, some gifts. Because I figured I was like, why not give away some of the things, you know, start the year off right. And because we start the year off right, I wanted to give out some books. But we're getting around to these books right now. Danielle say, I love Amazon. All right, we're going to get you to some Amazon. All right, so let's see, we got to get some more people in here to try to win some of these books because I can't just give it away to like one person. Um, and those of you who are just joining, please go ahead on and like, subscribe, and actually share. These are the free things. I'm giving away books that cost money. The least you could do is actually share something. Thank you. All right. Um, let's see. The first book I have to say that I, I really like when it comes to investing. Let me uh, change the mood here a little bit. See what else I got. I didn't want that one. So the first book. So the first book is The Simple Path to Wealth. And with The Simple Path to Wealth, I know the music might not be loud in your ears, but it's loud in mine. Uh, it's, a road to, it's a roadmap to financial independence and a rich, free life by J.L. Collins. Now, I'll, I like to give this book out as gifts is one of my favorite books to get out as gifts because this thing is, uh, it tells you everything you need to know, like about finances, investing, um, talk about the stock market, self cleansing, how to utilize, um, some stock markets out there. Ooh, speaking of stocks, I have a cool stock for you guys to look into. Now, keep in mind, this is for educational purposes only. I'm not telling you to invest in it. I'm just saying it's available. And this one is called uh, American Express. APX. APEX or uh, American Express. I haven't used it in a while. Uh, American Express. Uh, what do they call it? American Express. Okay, let me try this so you all can see. So American Express, um, in the past five days, oh, it was AXP. So American Express is looking really lovely. Um, because they actually do give out dividends. It's 1.33%. Um, and American Express has been a pretty much a dominant, um, company, especially when it comes to small business. Oh, is that Tiff? Hey, Tiff, money talk with Tiff. Hey guys, if you guys are not familiar with money talk with Tiff, um, I highly recommend to follow her. She is the hottest person that I know in the money space from, dealing with kids, running around, having a podcast, 
having multiple shows. She is teaching. She is doing it all. The next thing I, I'm like, if she winds up running for like local governor, um, it's like it's no it's no brainer. She got it. Like that's how cool she is. Thank you for stopping by too. Uh, so one of the stocks that I, I like because we're talking about credit cards is American Express, which is uh, AXP. Um, their 52 week high right now is 199. Their 50, 52 week low is 130. Um, and so it's kind of average right now, which is uh, pretty cool. It's like right in the middle of looking at a, a month long. <laughs> Hello, governor. Yes, Tiff. I can see his governor. Um, I know it's a horrible accent. I don't, I don't know any people that's over in England that talks like that. But yes, um, I think it'd be funny. Yeah, so um, that's one of them. Let's see what else who we else got out there. Who else we got? I think we can play some stock market music. Y'all, y'all like this rock and roll music for the stock markets? I think it sounds fun. Um, let's see. We go with Chase. <laughs> All right, so Chase is sitting out at about 139 and for the past six months, but their dividend yield is at 2.88%. So it's a little better than uh, American Express. So this is something to actually take a look into. Um, Since you are utilizing their credit cards, if you utilize their cash back points, you could technically use that money to invest. So you're getting free investments. That is another perk of having a credit card. And I just think I found out that uh, when I talk, it lowers the music automatically, which is amazing. So I didn't even know that this thing could do that. Um, So we talked about Chase. We talked about American Express. We about to get into who's the other person? Uh, Hilton. Hilton has a stock. And Paris Hilton just had a baby, too. Um, I think she had, like, a baby boy. So six months out for Hilton. Hilton is at 0.42%, but everybody's been on the rise lately. So you're looking at, and Hilton um, stock ticker is HLT. So some of you stay at their hotels anyway. I mean, figure why not have them pay you, too? And they have some really good credit card points as well. I just used them recently to do like a four stay hotel for free that I the only thing on it pay was like $40. So it was like $10 a day. So I'm just like, I have to say this is great. <laughs> awesome audio mix on the go. Hashtag when I'm hey, you know what I'm saying? Tiffany, you know, I got to do what I got to do. Okay. Um, so we got that. So we talked about those and uh, with the stock side of the house. So I just gave you three stocks to kind of take a look into. Um, and now for those of you who are don't want to sit around and look at all these different stocks and just love ETFs. Um, let's see credit card ETFs. And you just want to look for some ETFs that has all of your your cool stocks in there. Um, let's see what we got here. Oh, this one is nice. Now, the cool thing I want to let you guys know, and this is really a cheat code. Hey, what's going on, Z? Thank you for coming through. Hello, Tesla's earnings. Let me check those out right quick. Um, let me, first of all, let me look at the stock first, which is called iPay. I want to see what they have, what their, uh, thing is. Now, the cool thing is there's a cheat code for you guys that are out there that's kind of not familiar with stocks. You can actually go to a particular stock in your uh, brokerage account and look up the ETFs. Now, having that ETF, um, you can actually see what the top 10 stocks that they are actually invested in. And they usually tell you um, what they are. And because they have to report it anyway, you can actually look at their top 10, invest in their top 10 stocks, and you're moving just like they are. But the beautiful thing about an ETF is that they actually rotate out those stocks. So you're never stuck 
with just that one set. And that's the beauty of having an ETF. Now, also, you need to look at the fees associated with it. So there's that. Um, I must just say, keep that in mind. All right. Um, okay, so we got enough people in here right now. Azim, if you, since you're just joining, make sure you like and share this because I want to do a book giveaway. Doing a book giveaway on the simple path to wealth. If I can move this out the way. So the book is called Simple Path to Wealth. And this one is actually talking about how to utilize ETFs and build your wealth and so forth. So I want to make sure we get everybody in here. Um, now, because I'm going to do a giveaway, I want you to type in the hashtag wealth. Hashtag wealth. Um, let's see. So I got another one. Yeah. So while I set up the uh, the giveaway channel, go on and type in hashtag wealth if this is a book you want. All right, so we got two entries. Is that it? We got two two entries. Anybody else want to get this book? The book that we're giving away. Jamal, you didn't you did not you did not miss the drinks yet. But I want to do this book giveaway and then we do drinks. All right, so the book is the simple path to wealth all right so go down and type in hashtag wealth and let's get this thing going i think i got another this one all right uh let's i only got two rock songs so i think it's good for drawings going once going twice doing hashtag wealth for the book by jl collins and I won't be sending my copies. I'll be sending them directly from Amazon. So I learned my lesson last time. I had to actually have them shipped here. So I was paying twice for shipping. So I'm sending it directly to you. Um, and we'll go from there. All right. Um, Jamal, since you said drinks, you know, we could do drinks, do the drawing, and then everybody wins. What do you think? Yes, no? Give me the shout out in the chat. And I'm going to go ahead on and get my wine ready. I take that as a yes. All right. Well, we're going to have some drinks. Jamal called it. We would blame Jamal for it. Where's my drink stuff? Uh... <laughs> It's supposed to come through my roadcaster. There we go. All right, let's go. I know I'm supposed to have this ready. All right, all right, all right. What are you guys drinking out there today? I'm doubling down on this uh, black girl magic blend, the red blend. All right, all right. So now that we got everybody in here, Hey, 
How about Macy stocks? <laughs> Mom, thank you for joining the show. Uh, for those of you who just joined, I'm doing my book giveaway. So make sure you guys put your, um, put in for the for the book drawing. Spiked. <laughs> you got spiked hot chocolate tonight. I know that's right, Jamal. Um. All right, so we got water times a hot. Hey, those egg prices are no joke. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go ahead on in since I've been using all my uh, my free music. Oh, I think I got one. I can use this. So, we ready for this drawing? Any more entries before I go ahead on and hit uh, draw? Because it's only two. It's only two. Let's see what song this is. All right. About to get ready. No more entries. Let's go. All right, who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Hey, Tiff. Tiff won. Look at all that green dollars. Yeah. 50 50 odds. You still won. Tiff, you got it. I ain't got to do your money dance. That's all I got. With the shoulder rock, too. That's all I got. We got to do the hand clap. You know what I'm saying? That's all we got, though. <laughs> Congrats, Tiff. Oh, that was fun. All right. We got one book down. I said I was going to do three book giveaways. Do I have enough time to do three book giveaways? I think I do. So, the next book. Mommy, you're kind of late. We already did drawing. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see. Next book. Next book. Now, this book here has been like New York top bestseller for the longest time. A former FBI top hostage negotiator field tested tools for uh, talking for talking anyone into or out of just about anything. Now this book is called Never Split the Difference. I highly recommend this book to a lot of people who are just tired of being taken advantage of. Um, and I have to say that I only read a few chapters in this book. And I have to say, this is one of the books that I kind of wish I had read sooner. So for this book, Tiff, since you won the last one, you get to tell me what should be the um, hashtag for this book. So we can get this one out. Yes, Tiff, I already know you read this one, so that's why I'm not going to offer this one to you. Let's get some uh, some music for the second book. Ooh, negotiate. Okay. Well, you didn't have to put the hashtag, so I got to pick something else. Um... You know, I can, I can still do it. Now, if you can't win this one. Actually, you know what? I don't care. All right, so everybody everybody, put in negotiate if you want this book. Put in negotiate. Hashtag negotiate. All right, so we got one entry. We're going to collect them. We got like five people in here. Thank you. 
All right, we got two. If I get picked, <laughs> okay, you got it too. All right, we got uh, two entries. Anybody else want this book? I'm telling you, this is a top book to have. Even if you don't read it, you will definitely wish that somebody had given you this book. So this book is a giveaway. Make sure you guys um, tap in. Because uh, this book... Oh, the song ended already? I need to put this joint on a loop. I actually enjoyed that song. All right, this... Okay. All right, so we got our second one. We got our third entry. All right, anybody else? Anybody else? Mom, I know you're slow on the keyboard, so I'll give you some time. Mom, are you getting into this one? All right. You know, I got time. I got to get time for one more book to give away. Oh, my gosh. All right. Seems like my mom ain't playing today. She's uh, slacking off just having comments with everybody. Or oh, she's just catching up. <laughs> yeah, she's still catching up. Uh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta love mom. You gotta make sure she gets her time in there. All right. Mom, mom we're trying to give you a chance to get inside this drawing. <laughs> you gotta win one of these prizes. Hey, we got a third. We got a fourth entry. Okay. All right, Jamal, you in there? All right. You know, I'm going to play, uh, play my rock and roll music for this one. Since we got four entries. Mom, you still catching up? Hey, we got Nia in the house. Ah, man, it's awesome. All right. So, Tiff, you'll thank you for being a proxy for my mom because she's still catching up. I'm not sure if she's like so far back. All right. So let's go ahead on and uh, remember we giving out the book. Make sure y'all share. If you guys, um, I got one more book to give away and it's really the next book is about starting a business. So we got the art of negotiation right here. Pretty much it's never split the difference. And so let's go. Let's see what we got to get here. All right, let's go. Go, 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 go. Hey, we got Jamal as a winner. Hey, we got everybody up in here. Hey, Vern. Jamal, trust me, I got you, sir. You'll have the book in the mail. I think I'll probably start sending these orders out tonight. Tonight. So, for those of you who won so far, make sure you guys uh, shoot me your mailing addresses at Anthony at about that wallet dot com so that I can send these out to you. Yes, you will drink to that. All right. Definitely have banger. Yes. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Brian? All right. So we got the last book coming up. Um, this is the very last book that I'm giving away today. 
This one is about helping you start a business. Now, this book right here, for those of you who know that I gave um, Dr. Green that I have on my show multiple times, I gave her this book for her birthday and she turned her doctorate degree into a business to the point where now she's able to stand on her own, have multiple clients and able to run a full website just from this book. So all the kept secrets are in this book and I highly recommend you guys get into this one. So Jamal, since you won the last drawing, what is the hashtag you want to give this book out for? Because this one I have to say is the book that I know if you follow everything in this book, you will not fail in running a business. So, um, all right. Hey, so welcome to the show V. Hey, Brian, go ahead on and put in your, uh, Jamal, tell me what the hashtag you want for this one. Mom, you, you're like so far behind. Um, but we got you though. Jamal, what, what's the hashtag for this, for this book, sir? And then I'm gonna go ahead on and, uh, get this going for the giveaway. So that we can, uh, Hennessy. All right. Hashtag. <laughs> I can't believe you did this. I should have known. Um, hashtag Hennessy. This guy. All right. That's funny. You spelled it wrong. All right, let me let me go back. I need to spell it with the E Y because you spelled it wrong. But I know what you meant. All right, so we got three entries. <laughs> three entries. All right, well, I'm collecting um collecting hashtags. I'm telling you, this book right here will get you going. Hashtag Hennessy. That's how I dance in a car anyway. I know y'all dance just like me in a car anyway, so it's okay. Some of y'all probably don't. What black business click is in the house? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> All right. So if you're just joining, I'm giving away this book. You need to put in the hashtag Hennessy. If you want to be part of this drawing, I'm giving out this book right now. So we got seven entries. How many more we got? All right, we got 10 people in here. Y'all better come on and get this book. Cause this is, I'm telling you, for I gave this book away to somebody who had no clue how to start a business, who had no clue what a EIN was, who had no clue what a DUNS number was, who had no clue how to even do a blog. And now she's running a full company based off this one book. I only gave her this book. I didn't give her anything else. She ran, started running her own business just from this one book. So we got nine entries. If you guys know some friends that got some friends, I'll say share it. We're about to get this thing going. I'm going to go give this song one more time to go because oh, huh. Uh, I think it's about time. What do you guys think? It's ready. Let's go. All right. When you're ready to. Whoops. Um. I think we can. All right. This is the final book. So we about to go. All right. Let's go.
What? Nia won. Let's go, Nia. Woo. All right, Nia, you got it. Y'all do your, uh, y'all do your money dance. Hey, that was fun, right? Congrats, Nia. You know what? This was fun. So you know what? I'll give out one more book. I give out one more book. One last book. Only because I'm being generous. I'm being generous. I'm a, I'm looking around because there are a couple books that uh that I really did enjoy. I'm debating if I should give this one away. This book right here is pretty much a real life film to the point where he, you could actually see him going into his room, getting a gun, just ready to blast everybody in wall street. But the cool thing is you're giving out money. money. Yeah. This I'm telling you, these books are really like really where it's at. Um, I really like this book though. It's a short read. So um, now a lot of people haven't heard of him. He actually gave me this book for free because he really wanted to share his story to everybody. And I met this guy on Twitter. It's uh, Norman Papoose. Um, Cool guy, cool guy. Um, And I highly recommend this book. I started reading it and I just couldn't put it down. It's really a page turner. Um, The way how he was talking about his story, how he started, um, the reason why he's writing this book, it's really a vengeance against, you know, losing his whole, like his family has changed completely from a 180 because um, the, I guess you could say the financial advisor told his father to put all his money into silver. And at the time, silver was $36. Silver then dropped to $6, which means they pretty much wiped out his whole family and the finances. So that's why when I do this stuff, this is for education. A lot of people that are on this chat right now that are in the room have been burned in some form of fashion by somebody who they thought or believed in that could actually help them get money or been burned in different ways from some type of financial trauma. And I have to say, like, even though this book is short, it is definitely one to read. Um, And I I think so. It's more so one of those heartfelt books than anything. So I highly recommend that we should. uh, I want to give this guy's book away. I think this is the last free copy he gave me, but I will pay the ship this off to you guys because I really think this book is, is definitely one to get. Um, so this one, I'm going to just call this one, the hashtag, uh, grand, just hashtag grand. And I'll put this up so you guys can get this. Cause I highly recommend I've been reading it on and off. Um, it's just that I've been, you know, life happens. So for this book, like I said, hashtag grand, I'm going to show it up here on the screen so you can get it. It doesn't have to be in caps, but you get it. So this is going to be for the last book for the night. Um, And I want to make sure that you guys have this. All right, so we got seven entries on this one. Okay, thank thank you, Tiff. Oh, <laughs> he said this one is for you. <laughs> Tiff, you're great. Uh, yeah, so this book, my mom is actually in it. She got in there this time. So I guess her, uh, she got caught up. All right, you guys. So last book, I'm hitting at the, 
the one hour mark and i want to make sure we get it all right only because i really like this song so much all right let me bring the thing back up all right move that out the way all righty here we go i'm gonna move my stuff out the way too there we go all right this is for the last book for the night and i'll see you guys in like two months for these book drawings Hey, we got a wiener. We got a wiener. <laughs> hey, Vern, you better get it. Get it, Vern. Get it. Get it, Vern. Get it. Get it, Vern. You better get it. I know you over there dancing too. You better get it, Vern. Hey, so thank you everybody for playing. This was so much fun. Yeah, drum roll, let's go. Hey, I'm glad y'all got have fun, you know, spending my money today. But we had fun. I greatly appreciate you all. This was a great time today. Um, Vern, just shoot me your mailing address. I'll send this on over um, and get everything going. I think I have to play this back so I can make sure I get everybody's uh, books in the, um, put their names and stuff. Okay. I uh, think I am good for today. Again, we talked about <laughs> yes yes Tiff everybody have fun on my dime cause you know that's how we roll because uh, you know who doesn't like a free giveaway everybody likes giveaways um, and that's what I'm here for it's like these are the things that I found that were helpful for me um, and the things that I wish that people had invested in me and given me more books when I was younger to say, not just to say, hey, these are books to read, but these are books to kind of help you take it a little further uh, in life and get you to the next place. So if you ever get a book from me because you invited me to an event or a holiday or something like that, and I'm handing you a book, hey, it's how to love. You can even re-gift it if you want to. But it's just something that I care to do um, in the future. And if you guys actually um, want to help me give out books, if you guys have your own books, hey, you can always um, shoot me um, a link at anthony at about that wallet dot com. Or even if you just want to give me a free book, like uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing his last name right. I keep calling him Papoose. Um, but if you just want to mail it off. You can go to P.O. Box 1877 card for cool. It's like, um, it's 1877 Clinton, Maryland 20735. So you can always send me a book um, or something that you want me to give away. I'm always open to kind of get back to the community. All right, people. It was fun. Y'all yeah, be safe. And let me play my outro music. I've been trying to get better at these because it was actually pretty fun. All right, guys. Till next time. I'm out. Peace.